In 1902, Willis Carrier was a keen, young electrical engineer working for a heating and ventilation company. On one muggy summer morning, he was at a job. Carrier believed that you could do anything in life if you set your mind to it. He really believed in hard work. The job was at a high-quality publishing company. Extreme heat and humidity were ruining the paper as it went through the printing machines. Sackett Wilhelms was a publishing company that published in color, and it was important for the paper to go through the printing presses the same way each time to take on a new color. The damp air was making the paper swell and shrink, so it was a different size every time it went through the machine. This meant the colors didn't align. Carrier's assignment was to work out how to make the room's temperature and humidity remain constant. Temperature control had been done, but nobody had ever developed a safe and reliable way to control the exact percentage of humidity in a room. Carrier became obsessed about how to make a room less humid without making it too dry. One of Carrier's interesting personality traits was that he had tremendous focus. When he was thinking of an engineering problem, he couldn't be distracted by anything else. Uh, that meant that he often forgot everyday details of life. And everyone had a story about Carrier's famous absent-mindedness. Uh, when he was thinking about engineering, he thought of nothing else. Uh, once when he was traveling, he opened his suitcase to discover he had packed only one handkerchief and had nothing else in the suitcase. It was not until many weeks later, on the platform of a foggy train station, that answers began to surface. Carrier knew that fog was air that's 100% saturated with water. This made him think, what if he could create 100% humidity so that he had an exact starting point, then add enough dry air to reduce humidity to 55%, just as the boss requested. Carrier knew if he could recreate fog, he would have 100% saturated air, he would know precisely how much humidity he had, and he would have the basics to reproduce any relative humidity that he wanted. Carrier began to work on his theory. He built a box in which he could trap air and control what happened to it inside. He then gathered together a couple of fans, a garden sprayer, and heating coils. He used one fan to suck the hot air into the box. He then lowered the temperature of that air with a fine spray of cold water. As the air passed through the water, it turned into fog. Carrier had now got 100% relative humidity. He then began reducing the level of humidity by adding a precise amount of dry air to the chamber, so as to reduce it to a relative humidity of 55%. Carrier then released that perfectly conditioned air into the printing room. His client was delighted with the result. Carrier's unique idea had created perfect temperature and humidity, the world's first air conditioner. A very few people would have thought of using water to take excess moisture out of the air. Carrier perfected his contraption and obtained a patent in 1906. 
His invention revolutionized everything from textile factories to cinemas. Carrier reset our expectations about indoor comfort. We now expect to have wonderful weather every day, even if we have to stay inside to get it. He went on to form Carrier Engineering Corporation with seven other young innovators. The result? An international company worth billions.